Hello everyone and welcome to Hive Productions. In this video we are going to create or we are going to model iPhone 13 which is newly introduced by the Apple and let me show you some references of this. So here's almost the like the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Uh, I think there's no not too much differences but their features and specs are different so we, let's not get talk about this we have to just model this we have some references these uh, three lenses and some more these are the models so let's now we have to start this one first of all i have 3d studio max and uh, in this 3d studio max i'm going to go to the shapes after taking shapes i'm going to take the rectangle tool and i'm going to draw a rectangle in the front viewport this is my front viewport and i have drawn this in the front viewport and uh, i'm going to make it center from this all the value of zero which becomes center positions so what i'm going to do i have to do this so i will right click on it and convert it to the editable spline when you will convert this into editable spline, so you will have these three options where vertex, segments, and this spline. You can select from there as well. I'm going to take the vertex and I will select all the vertex from this shapes. And as you can see in my references, it is curve shape. It is curve in the shape. So I will have to go to the options. And the option is fillet. With the help of fillet, I'm going to make it curve almost like this when I have finished this curve so my next target is the modifier and the modifier will be extrude modifier this one through extrude modifier through extrude modifier I'll create the depth in it by increasing the amount which is something like this some more I think 8% after making an 8% so what's my next step my next step is this I just only need to convert this to editable poly because I will create some more details so for converting the editable poly is too much uh, important so I'm going to take my polygon tool select my front and select my back by holding control just holding the control and select edge so by this it will select the edges of the both side and uh, I will zoom it so I will show you what I'm going to do I'm going to chamfer these edges so these edges will become chamfer when one of them edges become two edges so it's become chamfer no I, I need some curve shapes so I will increase these segments between the chamfers so it's like uh, somehow curve as well after that, I'm going to go back to my polygon tool, which was already um, selected. So I'll take some insert. And uh, after that, I will make a detach. Detach will separate the separate this selected part. So now what I have, I have the screen and the back cover separately and this border as well separate so furthermore my next step is if i will go to the front side so i'm going to select this body and i will isolate this body by pressing alt q okay this body is separated right now so i'm going to go to the my left viewport and I'll find out rectangle tool here this is my volume button I'll convert it into editable spline and select their vertex and make it fill it like before this is my volume up and this is my volume down 
and this portion is for sim I think it has to be some more height and uh, duplicate here okay this button I can because I have find this small button as well in the references and the other side it will be power button so I will have to select this convert them into the variable spline select the vertex select them all and make it fillet them as well okay so next step is apply the extrude modifier which is high in size I'm going to copy this modifier and uh, paste on them on them as well and on them as well so next step is just take their duplicates because through them I'm gonna create a hole hole for the buttons as you can find out there are these are the I think there I think we don't need to make a hole yes we don't need to make a hole perfect so delete this extra part and uh, select them make them thin and place it down here like this okay one of them you can uh, copy from front side to right side just to show this is my power button and make it out something like this after that uh, if I will show you my video references so you can find out these one two three four one two three four five six okay so these are the holes we have to create these holes I'm gonna take cylinder tool here and from the top viewport I start to create the holes okay so this part has six holes and another part has four holes so I'm going to take the duplicate these fours that's perfect what I'm going to do my next step is I'm going to select this body go to the uh, compound objects and find out pro boolean I'll take the probe boolean and press start picking and I'll pick them up just to create or oh, just select them. just select them and it will green to be boolean properly so guys my these steps have done I'm gonna make them a group which is called my body or border you can give them whatever you want I'm going to unhide these objects so my cell phone buttons these are the holes are totally ready okay so next step is just to create the these beautiful cameras lenses so in this viewport I a front viewport I'm gonna go to the back side of this viewport I'll take the rect shape and rectangle tool after taking the rectangle tool I'm going to draw a rectangle almost half of the mobile almost but it's not to totally the half sides of the mobile as you can see it's, it's, it's half part is not totally it's a 90 percent of the body so now I have created these shapes same step I'm going to apply convert them into editable spline take the vertex select the all vertex and make it fillet when you make it fillet so it will curve so after making curve you have to set on the top of the body 
and uh, then you have to apply extrude modifier once again to make it extrude it is something like that after extruding you have to select right click on it and then go to the arable poly select the polygon here you have to select the polygon and then press control and select these each so by this it will select the border of this model after that you have to select the chamfer chamfer this it is the same option which we did in the body as well so something like this and i'm going to create this curve shape so i have, have to edit segments i think that's it's okay So guys, as, as you can see, I have done the border of this, uh, my iPhone. Now time to create the lenses. So I'm going to go back to my standard primitives and uh, I will have to select the tube first. In the tube, I'll go height segment will be only one and the sides will be 40. So we'll have to create this. First, we will create the border. All right. And the border of the object. So it will be here. Something like this. Then select the cylinder and same thing make a one height segments and sides will be 40 and you will have to create cylinder which will come out like this but just set the cylinder on the perfect position and uh, once again you have to convert them into editable poly and after converting editable poly, press the polygon, select the polygons, press control and go to the H2 because I'm gonna make it chamfer too. This is too much, I just want like this. So these are my lenses. Hold the shift key and make it, drag the mouse to make it duplicate and again hold shift key and duplicate here so we have created these three lenses as well we can find out these are the flashlights and some of the black lights is here and there is a small tiny dot as well so i'll take duplicate of this cylinder copy and I'll decrease the size just to show this is the my flashlight and there's also another light black which is looking black and on the here position it's a small tiny dot okay select them all and make them and bring them out okay so my lenses are complete my everything is complete so the main thing we have it is the main logo the logo of apple for that purpose i have already downloaded the logo and it is in my illustrator file what you have to do you just need to save the illustrator file suppose i'm going to the save and this times i'll give the name which is called apple logo and make it save so it will ask you the version just to, to import and then export for the 3ds studio max so you will have to select the illustrator 8 version and then okay so by this you can import this illustrated file into 3d studio max 
okay so as you can find out here is my logo of Apple so you have to rotate them and then you have to adjust them and make it center and by scaling increase the size of this logo I think this enough after increasing the size apply the same modifier extrude and it is still much high in size so let's bring it back a little inside so guys as you can see that we have done the modeling I'm gonna give this uh, black color and apply a gray color shader because if I will apply this shader so in the lines you can see proper modeling of your object I hope you like this video tutorial the modeling of iPhone 13 furthermore I'm gonna give this second part very soon just to tell you how to light shade and texture this and bring it out the final render of the iPhone 13